right, listen, beauty is big business, okay? I want to empower you to take advantage of this division because it makes sense financially. I think a lot of people think, oh, motives is just makeup, and yes, we have the best products out there, but you don't necessarily have to have a passion for cosmetics to make a smart business decision, okay? So look at this. I mean, we're talking about the beauty industry demand. This is for personal care, skin care, and cosmetics, which Motives ties all of those together. The global beauty and personal care product market is anticipated to grow from 432.7 billion as of a couple years ago to 750 billion by 2024. That is a 57% growth in eight years. So doesn't it make sense to capitalize on that? Do you all have a motives presence in your business? Yeah. I mean, the first step is using your own product, right? That's the easy part, because we have the best products out there. And I think people overcomplicate this. You know, at the breakout the other night, I was saying, I don't have a makeup background. When I was introduced to motives, I wore like, you know, lip gloss and mascara, if that, okay? But I, I love numbers, I love the, the marketing plan, and I love just the edginess that this industry offers people. So it's not about me wanting to become a professional makeup artist, it's about me wanting to leverage the industry and then find people who have qualities that I don't have. Like maybe they are a makeup artist, or maybe they do work in skincare. And all you have to do is get people in front of the product because the product sells itself, right? Um, obviously, we have the creme de la creme of products because we don't manufacture anything. Dennis had a couple segments on Thursday that really, really hit home on the quality of our products. The one thing I often say to my clients is that my goal is to save them time and money by bringing the best products to them so they don't have to waste time in the department stores or going online and trying to figure out what products are best of the best. I mentioned yesterday, be of service, not of sales, right? Don't feel like you're pushing products on someone. Feel like you're really offering them a service. And as a perk or a benefit, we have access to thousands of other exclusive products at a distributor cost, at a discount. So that's sort of what I say to my, my customers, because a lot of times they end up being your prospects, right? Or anyone that you're having just evaluate the line through trying the product. Some things that we do differently, you see how much money is spent in this industry, but there's a lot of other great products in the marketplace. So why would people choose ours? Okay, yes, they're the best products out there, but even more than that, it's us. You really have to value people's um, business, right? And if, if you have customers that are spending money through you, you should bend over backwards and go way out of your way to make them feel special. Um, that's one thing I love about Motives, is you can make people feel really beautiful, but other than that, you have so much time to connect with them emotionally. And that's really, the, we're in a people business, you know? Um, professional products at an affordable price. Uh, we can pair the beauty from the inside out. Uh, Lee's gonna talk about some industry statistics that, you know, all these things we've been doing for so long, now they're all saying it's, it's, it's happening now or it's the trend and we've been capitalizing on it for a while. Um, I don't like to say parties per se. When we do a retail event, we refer to it as a workshop or a clinic because we also wanna educate. Um, and we're going to talk a little bit about events. Uh, of course, we have custom blend cosmetics, and then we have an a incentive program for people to even host an event for you, and we'll get more into that um, as we go along here. And you guys, I've been in the industry 25 years, but you don't really have to be with Motives, and that's what I love about it. I can help others be in the industry as well. But because I've been in the industry that long, I love looking at what is currently happening and what's evolved over the years. And every time I see things in the news, I just say to myself, gosh, we're ahead of the trend all the time. Yeah. We're right where we need to be. So this is an article from L'Oreal where it's saying the sales in US for them are going down in cosmetics, but they're increasing everywhere else worldwide. Mm -hmm. So you guys all have that global site you can utilize, right? So when we look at the global business, United States only represents about 24%. And it's actually estimated to grow to about 62.46 billion US dollars, but we're also seeing a rise in personal care products. Yeah. So isn't it great that it's not just cosmetics, mm -hmm. it's not just skincare, it's not just, you know, we have it all, right? Mm -hmm. And then I know Maria touched on this as well, but men, men are 
spending more money than they were before on even cosmetics. It's mm -hmm. not just skincare, it's cosmetics. Mm -hmm. But we have the best of the best skincare, and we've seen that grow. And we saw it here this weekend. We had some men, so I don't know if any of you are out there, that got facials up at our Motives booth, yeah. and then they came to see what Motives has to offer. So it was awesome seeing that. Mm -hmm. I love it. And then we were way ahead of, the, uh, of this. <laughs> Six reasons why beauty supplements is growing category for 2019. Think about what we have. Not only do we have our beauty cocktails, our beauty bliss cocktail, but we have been promoting wellness and beauty from the inside out for years. Yeah. And now I feel like the world's finally catching up with us with mm -hmm. that. Absolutely. And this is just an example of one of the marketing tools we have available on that media index. And it's a, it's a cocktail card, so you can print it out and put it in like a little acrylic stand, just like you would see at a restaurant. But we have this at all of our events. People drink the little cocktail, they love it, and all the features and benefits of the Beauty Blend and the Aloe are listed on and there. it tastes great. It tastes really good, and it looks pretty. Um, that always helps. But you know, one thing I really love about this division also is we have a few different partnership options. And so you can really kind of meet people where they're at with whatever their skill set or whatever their timing is and partner with them there. And maybe it'll evolve into more. But either way, as you're building your motives team, you can leverage each other's talents, like I mentioned earlier. I mean, I just love this quote, as an entrepreneur, your existence revolves around the people you intend to serve. And I think we have a great opportunity to do that as a company, but also within our division specifically. We actually have these three different partnership options. I don't really have time to go into them all, but these are pictures of, they're called welcome guides. So it's basically a little manual uh, that we've written. They're beautiful. The creative team did a great job kind of putting all of our content together. And you can find these on the media index as well. I would say have them professionally printed. You can go on Staples Print and Copy. It's a partner store. I think it's like 7% IBV. And they're a great prospecting tool. If someone's interested in being an apprentice, a pro artist, or a beauty advisor, you can sit down and show them that. And you know, Quimby did such an amazing job the other day, and I wanted to tie in some of what she was talking about with what we're talking about, so it really hits home with you. Um, and you know, her team's doing a great job leading by example on leveraging all different options and skill sets and talents. So a beauty advisor, that's all of us. That's an unfranchised owner, right? Um, motives apprentice, these are you know, people who have a passion for the beauty industry, but they're not old enough to become a business owner yet, so they're maybe age 13 to 18, they can get a free website with motives, and they're almost like a, a glorified customer for you, really, but you can work with them. I mean, a lot of times they do better makeup application than most adults, you know? And then, of course, our pro artist program, you can level, leverage people who already have that skill set. And, you know, uh, we, we've talked about this a lot, I feel, this weekend, but it's really just about connecting with people. But this is a statistic, too. It's not just us saying this. You know, 90% of decisions we make are emotional. And thinking about what will drive the beauty industry growth and change in the years to come, emotions at the forefront. Because what's more emotional than, you know, being able to empower someone to look and feel amazing? So when we look at keys to a successful event, the number one is to have fun. Yeah. Why have an event if you're not going to have fun, right? So create that right environment. And Quimby did a great job of this because every single event that we have, you really don't even do makeup in them. Right. They're all really <laughs> made to bring in retail sales and identify those new business partners, right? Mm -hmm. So it should be a duplicatable system. With the motives mix and mingle, I love that she talked about this because we used to do this in my salon. And it was fun because it exposes people to the products from mm -hmm. all the different divisions, really. And um, you can focus from beauty from the inside out, have a station with that feature our Beauty Bliss cocktail. Everyone always asks me, what does it taste like? Mm -hmm. So having them try that, and you guys, men should be using this too. It's not just yeah. for women. Have a booth, uh, love the skin you're in. Have them focus on the value kit. And you guys, look at the profit that you get with these kits that we have available, or, or the products that we're featuring at these stations. Mm -hmm. Get the look. You can have makeup demos, beauty in every shade, a selection of beauty products, you know, keep it fun, keep it simple. Simple. Here's an example of what the profit would be for that. And it's important to look at the profit because yeah. we're all doing this to make money, right? And yes. of course, it's how we make them feel. So we want to pamper them up with the royal hand treatment. 
we can use our Royal Spa products for that. We have our foaming brown sugar body scrub, and we're introducing them to that. And it does make your hands even feel good. It's not just yeah. for the body. And of course, the perfect pout. We can have them exfoliate, hydrate, plump, plump and put some color on mm -hmm. their lips. So we kind of broke that down too, just to show you guys the profit on this. Mm -hmm. And wouldn't you agree that just visiting these dif different stations, having them try it, they're most likely going to buy mm -hmm. most of the products, yeah. I would say. Mm -hmm. We can even have them make their own lip stain color. We have a whole system to teach you how to do that as well. And Ladies love to mix up their own products. Personalization is a huge trend right now. Mm -hmm. And then spin to win. We would have where if they visited each station, they would get a stamp on their card and we would have them spin the wheel so they could win something. I mean, who, who doesn't want to spin the wheel to win, right? Yeah. So we can give them a complimentary gift with that. It can be any of our isotonics essentials, digestive enzymes, you know, any of those little things that we want them to try um, in the trial program. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. So, you know, that's just one example of an event, but what I love about that is it's just fun. It's not super formal. People can come and go as they wish, and if you have those different stations, people will sort of gravitate towards what they're interested in, and you can have order forms at each station, um, mm -hmm. which is why we showed you that profitability, but then I'm going to kind of tie it all together for you and give you a goal to even host an event. I do want to mention that there are, if you go on our Motives Official Pro Partner page, Quimby did a Facebook Live a while back um, and showed you in a real life setting how she sets up that event. Um, but really the whole power of the events is, you know, when you have new partners, you, they learn by doing, right? Experiential learning. So when you're all working together, it's a lot more fun. Um, and people are going to actually sort of recruit you because they want to be around people that are making things happen, empowering people, lifting one another up. So I also feel like it's the best way to prospect. But I'm a numbers girl, I'm the type of person, if you just show me a, a result, right, and then say, if you do this activity, you can expect to earn this, I'll do that. So mm -hmm. and if anyone else feels like that, I wanted to show you. Let's say you had 10 guests that circle through those stations, okay? Like, if they bought everything, realistically, they're not going to, but if they bought everything they experienced, because listen, they are experiencing products at every station, that would be over $5,000 in sales. So let's just say, realistically, people may buy half of what they experienced at the event. That's a $2,500 event with 10 guests. I mean, with that, in what, like, where else do you make that kind of money in a couple hours? Seriously, 1,200 BV and, of course, over $700 in immediate profit. And I wanted to tie in our hostess incentive program because what we've really been focusing on this whole event is the evaluation process, qualifying people, doing your two per week. So we've had this program for years, and we've talked about it a few other times, but it's called Party With Me 100 for free, and the goal of this is there's five activities. It sort of gamifies this process to make it fun, but there's five activities that if your guest, your customer, your prospect hosts an event, they want to focus on these five things. They're so simple, you can read them, like keep the original date. That's so important though because you can't build a business or or be disciplined with your time if things are always changing they need to have over five guests they need to do over a couple hundred dollars in sales um, and then they have to have two events booked from that one event they're doing so this is really empowering your prospect your customer your hostess mm -hmm. to do all that for you so you don't have to worry about booking the next event that's they're doing that for for credit for free product, okay? But look at the last one, evaluate the business. But let me show you how this becomes in a real life setting. So ideally you do your event, any type of event, could be mix and mingle or any of the other four duplicatable events we have. And the next day ideally you sit down and you just have them evaluate the plan because that was the, one of the you know, five activities. And it's not because they're interested, it's because they're getting $20 of product credit. But as you show them the plan, they need, we need two people to activate and earn commissions, right? So the two people that they've booked the event because we go event to event, that was one of the other five objectives, find two people to host. You can put that as those names when you're showing them the marketing plan, so they see this becoming real for them. Oh, well, Lee already is booking an event for me, so I see how that could happen, right? Quimby's gonna host an event for me, so I see how this could happen. Then you could even go back Hopefully I'm pushing the right button. And you can show them, look, we did you know, $22,000 in sales. Uh, this yes. is the retail profit. Would you like to keep that or should I? I mean, it's such a no-brainer 
And 1,200 BV, that should ring a You're bell for you, You're showing them right? that it works. They're at yeah. the event, they're booking an event already. They're already doing what we do, right? Right. So it's easier to say, look, if this is something you're interested in, this is exactly what we do. You're yes. already doing it. And I've had people say, well, I suppose I should evaluate the business. It's the last thing I need to check off to right. get my you know, hostess incentive program. Yeah. So I'm like, sure, let's sit down. You may know the right people, right? Yeah. I think retailing is so important, and I know not enough unfranchised owners are focusing on that, because if you're like me and you don't really like having that direct approach, I'm more introverted, believe it or not. Um, so I, I, I feel awkward. Does anyone else feel awkward when you're trying to prospect people or get people to you know, evaluate your business? But this is, when you focus on retailing, our products are so good, people love them, they're gonna buy them, but they're gonna recruit you. I, that happens to me all the time. I have a hard time keeping customers because they wanna evolve into a partner. But then, you know, our auto ship, our you know, quarterly requirements, none of that's an issue. You never have to constantly overcome that objection because they're already doing that. They're already doing the business without realizing it, right? And it's our job when you partner with someone, it's your job to make them money fast. And you can do that with retail events. So every time we have a new partner coming on an organization, we always have them host a launch event for business and for product. Because we want to get them those customers so that they're successful from day one. Then they can tell people, yes, I am profitable. Yes, this is working for me. And it really builds that confidence. But all these pictures in here are from, this is a team from Toronto, just beautiful women leveraging. Some of them are makeup artists, some of them are not, right? They leverage each other's talents. They have a lot of fun. They represent the brand in an amazing way. And it's a great team building thing too. Yes. I mean, I love having events with my team. It's, it's a way that we can spend time together and, and get to know each other too. It's so true, yeah. And when you do it all together, it's not as much pressure on one person and everyone can just have one duty, one station, you know? Uh, I'm a big person on quotes. So discipline closes the gap between what you want and what you achieve. It's the bridge between who you are and who you want to become. Well, in this business, you have to be disciplined. Someone said it earlier, I forget, on Thursday somebody was mentioning discipline. It's not super exciting, but it's so necessary. Um, and as your team expands, you want to really uh, leverage your time. And we have a few ways that you can do that in a really um, successful, professional way. One thing we do is every single uh, Monday, uh, we do a what we call Motives Mondays. And it could be a conference call, a webinar, Facebook Live. It's, it's just something. Um, and we sort of switch up the topics all the time. Who's been plugging into the Motives Mondays? It's start, we've been doing this for like two years. I feel like just since the beginning yeah, of this year, it's on. starting to catch on. But um, we see a lot of excitement this summer. We've been focusing on one brand per week. And then all of our webinars or calls are recorded. And then they're either put in the media index or on unfranchise um, audios. Is that yeah, the right? Yeah, and it's really in addition to our trainings. It's to give everyone like some more in-depth knowledge. And so yeah. we know that you know, even seeing everything on the stage here, it's hard to keep up with everything that's going on. So tomorrow night, we're even doing an international convention recap. And these are good for the world. So share them with your teams in yeah, other sure, markets as well. Your customers can plug in. It's a great way for them to see mm -hmm. your prospects. And then we're continuing with our theme. Um, we're going to have Dr. Terry White. She's going to be covering beauty from the inside out on August 19th. And we have um, Jackie Birchman's going to be doing our DNA Miracles webinar. And so we're going to continue in September. We're going to be going more over the events in detail so you guys really know how to do them, even though they're so easy. If you print out the, the outline, mm -hmm. you'll have it all there. But we realize that sometimes we kind of learn by watching and hearing and, and seeing yeah. what other people are doing as well. So we're just trying to create a lot of educational resources so that when you start a new business partner, you can plug them in to see this and you know, they can see what we're doing and, and get the product knowledge that they need as well. So yeah. I hope you guys are sharing those. We do record it all, so if you do miss it, don't worry. You can always watch the replay. Yeah, and we sort of almost do like mini-series. So over the summer, we did um, some fantastic webinars on every skincare line we have. So mm -hmm. Cell Labs, Hamas Prescriptions, Lumiere, Tavia Course, Intelligence. A lot of you aren't really, you know, super proficient with a lot of those products because some of them, some of those lines we've had for a while, right? Yep. Um, so just go back and educate as you can, right? Like I said, use it more maybe like a team coring setting. And then we also do a product of the month feature every single month for 
motive. So we're trying to keep your focus fairly simple. We talked a lot about that at the breakout the other night, but you know, um, we have a very cohesive unit going on between our social media team, our web merchandising team. Um, we all work together, and then obviously we're in the field part of things, but we really try to tie everything together, sort of like Sarah Rose Sack was showing you with um, the back office now. So we're trying to keep motives um, tangible for you and exciting for you. I think some people get overwhelmed because we have so many products, right? And but, great resources. And great resources. But you know, the beauty industry is something that, I mean, our company, every industry is changing all the time, but I feel like the beauty industry specifically, always yes. new products, new trends. But instead of getting overwhelmed about it, just appreciate that the company does so much work to always bring new products and new colors to the, to the market for us, because if they weren't, our customers would go somewhere else. Because when it comes to beauty and fashion, that's what they expect from us, right? Right? And if you're not giving it to them, they go somewhere else. So just sort of embrace that we're a fast-paced uh, division, but it's, it's fun. Keep it light. Keep it exciting. Um, last thing we wanted to touch on was the fact that we had launched sort of a, a next level curriculum with the Motives Beauty and Business Academy. Uh, you can go to motivesacademy.com to check out more information on it. But, you know, it's a four day um, event, well, sort of three, but we do Friday evening, Saturday, Sunday, um, and most half a day Monday. But there's so much business. Has anyone in here been to one? We've had some great results. Oh, we've got some groupies over here. You know, I think we've done maybe like six total, and we are already seeing that there's handfuls of people coming to multiple events, and we're in groups of like 50. We don't have a huge attendance yet. I know that'll change, but we're tracking the results from the people who are attending, and their businesses are growing. And you guys all heard from Vina Hudgens, right? Mm -hmm. You guys, the industry needs this. I'm telling you, we need more people like you out there to introduce it to these accounts because I'm from that industry. I couldn't physically work anymore. Yeah. This company allowed me to leave and we have, I have so many people out there that are just like hoping for something like we have. And the way that their retailing has changed, the way that their services have changed, they're not making the kind of money that they should be. And every single division that we have is a solution to their industry. Mm -hmm. So it's so important to get to this training because we need people like you, because we can't do it all. We can't yeah. work with all of them all over the but you country. But you, you need to speak you know, educatedly right. and with conviction, and you need to have the posture because it's not, Working in a B2B space is not, it, people I think get excited because they think, oh, lots of volume. But, you know, think about the fact, you know, our Nutrimetrics division is so incredible. But I say people wouldn't go and talk to a health professional without going to that class first, right? So right. it's the same thing here. You're talking about business owners who are super busy, very overwhelmed. But the cool thing about motives is that salon owners, there's no, you know, there's not all the legalities in the red tape. This is a just, they're already retailing products. Yes. That's part of their culture that they do in those spaces. So um, it's just a great way. It's more about, I think, saving the industry professionals. I know that's something Lee is so passionate about. And I have to say, I mean, the fact that you should do, we're just, I'm putting her on the spot here, but kind of give your little testimonial because it's so powerful and you need to, people need to know this, you know? You know, I, I did a lot of clients over the years. I worked 13 hours a day and usually about seven days, well, six and a half days a week. And I had my own salon, so all my time and energy went into that business, okay? And I was okay with that because I didn't know any different, right? Um, when I was introduced to this company, it wasn't actually with the makeup, it was with the health and nutrition, which really helped a lot of my health challenges that I have. And I just continued to plug in and, and go to things, right? And I started to develop my mind and just really see that there was more to life than that. Mm -hmm. um, and I think, the last straw was, you know, I, I would drop my kids off at school every day and say, see you tomorrow, because I didn't see them until the next day. And my son just said, okay, mom, you know, I guess I'll see you tomorrow. And he got out the car and I thought, what am I doing, right? Time is so valuable, you guys, and you don't get it mm -hmm. back, mm -hmm. all right? So I had something that I knew that if I just devoted more time to it, I could build that yeah. income that would let me walk away from that. And that's exactly what I did because of this company. And now I'm at home. I'm and she was able to sell the salon. Be. Yeah, so I was actually able to someone sell. came to you and wanted to yeah, purchase it. Because of what we were doing with these products. So, mm -hmm. you know, give people that time back. You, yeah. can't, you can't give somebody a better that's gift true. than that. 
And, See, and I have to give Amber Lopez a shout out too. I think I yeah. saw her over here. Uh, she was our beauty advisor of the year. And like, I get so emotional, hopefully I don't cry about it. I cry about everything, but so powerful. A salon owner who has two little babies at home. One year she built her business, came to two MBBAs in one year, was able to sell her salon, walk away, do this business yeah. full time, and be with her kids. I mean, that's what it's all about. So you really feel, you should feel obligated to share this business with people. Um, so hope to see you all guys at the next MBBA. It'll be in Philadelphia area in November. Motives Academy. Thank you.